whole time he was doing the same thing to me and I was out here feeling like my boyfriend is a faithful. <laughs> I'm done. It's windy. I don't know if you can even hear me. If I'm in so I don't know if you can hear me, but I left. So I got, I think, three or four things, and I spent like 63 pounds. I don't know what I was anticipating to spend, but it was definitely not that. It was 80 something, and then I was like, I don't need this big, and it dropped 20 pounds. So I'm like, I got a leather jacket though, and I figured that that was gonna like be at least 20 something. Um, but it's a really nice jacket, so yeah. Um, um, it was hard to record because I needed my hands. Like I had one hand carrying and one hand, you know, sifting through, so I didn't really got that much footage. I will show you what I got, cause it wasn't that much, so I'm not gonna even do a whole entire like thrift. Where the hell am I going? just get out of the middle of the street a whole entire like thrift hole um so i'll just show you what i got when i got here but i got this really nice leather jacket so i'm happy about that even if i had just gotten the jacket i would have been content there weren't many bags like it was given ill but it wasn't given it wasn't given vintage you know it wasn't given good ill it was given very much great granny um but yeah i will talk to you when i get here I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. The sun is now out. The UK reminds me very much of Bermuda with its bipolar leather. Doesn't know what it wants to do. So I got this sweater. It's a cardigan that looks like this. I think this is so freaking cool. Like imagine this with like a skirt and a crop top and some boots. This would be such a vibe. Or even on a chill kind of vibe with some jeans and a bodysuit like cardigans I love cardigans and this might even be cute on its own it's well maybe not because I just realized how deep the cut is but we'll see anyway so I got this love the colors on it love the pattern the thing is I saw the girl take it out of because they were still taking stuff out of bags as we got there um well because all the racks were full so I guess as people take stuff off they add stuff on um but yeah, so I got this. There was a bag that I did pick up, but it was 80 something pounds with the bag. So I took the bag out because I was like, I don't know if I really love this or if I just want to get it because I saw it. And for that to have taken it down 20 pounds, I'm like, how much were you trying to spend here? It was, it was 20 pounds per kilo. But you think a kilo is a lot, but clearly it's not. So this is my last time. And this is my last time in Southampton, so I didn't want to not go. Anyway. I'm gonna save the best for last. Okay. And then I picked up this. Picked up this skirt. Hopefully it's not too small. It might like just fit. It says it's a UK 12. I don't believe that dude. Cause I'm a UK 10. But anyway, so it's this skirt. It is quite long. But I have plans to cut it into a mini because I just love the pattern. And I think this will be cute for me as a mini skirt again with some boots. You know what I'm saying? Or even in the summertime with some sandals or something like that. But yeah, it's kind of like a wool material and it's in that. Kind of similar to Hound's Tooth. I guess you can call it Hound's Tooth. Star of the show is this leather jacket. I don't know what size it is, um, but it's really, really worn. Let me try it on for you, actually. This is it. I was thinking cute. I really wanted to get a brown or like a greenish color. There was a brown one there, but I didn't want to pick it up just because I saw it. You know, I wanted, it to, I wanted to really like it, and I kind of liked it, but I didn't love it. And then I saw this one, and I was like, this is a vibe. So I got this one, but I definitely do want to go thrifting in the next couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, so I got that really, 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 really excited about that. Um, but yeah, it's now, it's like quarter to 11, or it's 11, five to 11. Um, 
I need to work on my PowerPoint for this stupid presentation tomorrow for class. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut up an apple and get a few grapes and work on this present. I'm probably not even gonna work on it right now if I'm being honest. I don't feel like it. So it's a bit later. Um I'm about to get subway really quickly and pick up some cookies because I start in the gym tomorrow and so this is my last day of eating junk. I'm really my plan, like I said, I said that my plan was to only eat junk once a week, but I'm really feeling like I want to really what's the word? Not test myself, but like test myself and see if I can really be disciplined and eat my three healthy meals a day. And all I need to do really is get some snacks put in between, man. Anyway, I'm gonna get to these what's the subway and get some chocolate chip cookies. Ground floor. Okay, I'm back. We lost the cookie, but it was voluntary. Um, so I picked up six cookies so I can eat some now and then eat some after I eat my McDonald's. And I also picked up a bag of chips because I'm just a fucking fat ass. But um, the guy at reception, he's really cool. I haven't seen him in months. He was out for for for, 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 for surgery. Um, so I just asked him if he wanted a cookie, yeah, so I gave him a cookie. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna eat these. And then I worked on my presentation. Be proud of me because I didn't feel like it, but I did. Um, and yeah, like I said, I wanna do up this food later. So I'm gonna do up this food before dinner time so that when dinner time comes, I can just relax. You know what I'm saying? Eat my food and just chillax. Honestly, yo, like, you don't understand how excited I am to get in the gym. Let me turn this music off because trying to talk and listen to music at the same time, I feel like I'm shouting and I don't want to shout at you. But nah, y'all don't understand how excited I am to get into the gym. I know, like, it's going to be one of those things that's, like, love-hate relationship. But I really think after this first month, it's going to be a love relationship because... I'm ready to go hard and I don't mean hard like where I'm going to hurt myself because obviously I haven't worked out in a while but just with all the content that I have consumed about the best way to work out and you know instead of worrying about rep range just have a working set till failure try to work to your last set definitely to failure as close to failure as possible so that you can maximize your growth and all of that kind of stuff and worrying about mind to muscle like girl I know all the information I got the plan, I just needed to, like, I know what I'm doing. I just need to put it into practice. And so, yeah, I'm really serious about eating healthy. So, if you ever see me on here, eating something that I shouldn't be eating after this vlog goes up. Not even after this vlog goes up. Yes, after this vlog goes up, you better tell me about myself. Skilla, what the hell are you doing? Are you fucking dopey, you dumbass? Don't be rude like that, but <laughs> tell me about myself, cause... I am not playing about. I want to look snatched for graduation. But yeah, I'm going to watch YouTube. I don't know what I'm going to watch because I don't think anybody feels anything. I try to watch stuff even if, you know what? I try to support people even if I, because I want support too. So even it's if it's not a video that I really fresh. like. Shut up, HelloFresh. So even if it's not a video that I particularly like, even if I'm like watching it and I'm just listening or on TikTok while I'm watching it, just to, you know, support those that I want to support. Even though this girl never responds to comments. Which is why I never comment on her stuff because I'm like, girl, I don't like when I comment and people don't respond back. Like, I just feel like it's so rude. Like, don't just like my stuff. I just feel like it's not nice. Maybe because I personally just don't like to do that. So I just feel like when you do, if you can hard it, then you have time to just type a TY with an exclamation mark. Just say thank you. You know? Anyway, I'm gonna watch this video. <laughs> My bun was hurting me. Um, but y'all look. I just came to order my unavailable. They just came back on the menu. What do you mean unavailable? Crisis averted. There's a second um there was a second um McDonald's, a different McDonald's, and they have them. Check out. So I could get my mozzarella sticks for the final time. Very excited about that. 
place my order. Order confirmed. So yeah, I'm watching Raven's house update. Cause ain't nobody posting on your YouTube channel. I just finished watching the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. Dumbest ending of a movie ever. If you, I mean, series. My hair looks a mess. Um. I want to wash it, but I have my presentation tomorrow, and I need to get some products because, like I said, I'm gonna lock it up this weekend. I can't believe my internet looking like this. This is growth. I'm gonna tell you this is growth because I wouldn't be, I wouldn't want to get on anything without a wig on my head. Like I felt so ugly without a wig on my head, and now I'm just like, girl, this is me. Even though again, I did put a whole bunch of creamy crack in my hair, but girl, this is me. This is all of me, all of my forehead. This is all of me. And you gonna take me for me. Anyway, my camera's about to die. Had to put her up because I couldn't get on, so it's looking unpresentable, you know what I'm saying? Um here's my drink. So I got this drink called An Oasis. Hold up, sorry. I had another feeling that was gonna happen. This fucking Charlie Red fucking McDonald's, right? They never give me any freaking sauce. And it's not even a stronger. Anyway, I got this drink called an Oasis. And it's it's a it's like a um juice. I don't know what I can compare it to. Like you know how you got a ribena? It's kinda like you call you he got a ribena. Um ain't no straw and there ain't no sauce. Some fries? I'm gonna draw sticks. But yeah, I'm gonna watch Miss Naturally Sunny just posted a weekly vlog. But yeah, my camera's about to die. So I'm gonna end today here and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Monday. I just finished, you know, doing my morning routine. I guess you can say. I haven't had any breakfast yet, um, but. I meditated, did yoga, just did some gratitude journaling, um, and yeah, I'm I'm just dreading eating these freaking eggs because I need ketchup, and I forgot that I need ketchup for me to consume eggs. Same. So, I keep trying, but I just don't want to. But I'm starting to need gym today, so I need to make sure that I eat something because I'm going straight after class, and so I'm not gonna have anything to eat until after class. So I need to eat breakfast. This is why I look like I didn't even put a scarf on last night because I just. Okay. Um. But yeah. I will talk to you guys when I'm at the gym. I'll probably be. I'll try to vlog. It depends on how busy it is. I'm hoping that this time that I chose is really a quiet time. Let's. I'm manifesting that it will be quiet in there at 2 p.m. Hi guys. So I'm now leaving. Um, the gym. Is this my record? Yes. I don't know why I thought I would record. My legs hurt. I'm trying to sit down. I don't know why I thought I would have recorded. Um, why I thought I would have recorded in there. I picked like the perfect time though. Um, it's not busy at the time that I went, which is at two o'clock. So that's gonna be the time that I go. I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. I don't know if this is coming to my airports or my bed, but it was a, it was a good all and a half I did. I only didn't do one exercise, but I replaced it with another one. So like technically I did do all the exercises. So today was hamstrings and glutes and then back and buys. And so that's what I did. Um, I mean, I did it, so I'm proud of myself. I was like, don't worry about people, Sakala. There is a Smith machine, but there's only one. And so, it's a little nerve-wracking when you're like trying to like use an equipment that somebody else is using, or you want to use it, so you're kind of like, what do I do? But, yeah. Anyway, let's go. Good afternoon, can I make an appointment for tomorrow? Can 
I come at 1030, I'm going to get an infill. Yeah. It's Sakela. Sakela. S A K. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Bye. I think they got my name already. Um, because every time I say like S A, oh, got it. Right, yeah, it's the only part with the accent that sounds like this. So, I'm gonna my nails on tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower, plug my battery, and I meant to do it this morning, but I forgot. And then we're gonna make some very late lunch. Um, and try out this protein shake. Just got out the shower. I just took my battery off the charger so that I can try this protein shake on camera with y'all. It tastes like... It tastes like melted ice cream. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see if I can find a case of these online. It tastes like melted vanilla ice cream. Like, you know like when you have had it in a bowl for a while and then you like literally you scoop the melted at the bottom of the bowl that's what this tastes like i don't even really like ice cream if i'm being honest but i can chug one of these a day so i can hit my macros but that's fine her who but yeah so i'm gonna i cooked all this chicken yesterday this is for the next three days it's one chicken breast per quesadilla so i don't know how much protein is in this it's got to be at least I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just heat up some of this, make a tortilla, I mean a quesadilla, taco, whatever the hell you wanna call it. And then I'm gonna do some editing and I'm put this back on the charger because it's been charging for as long as I was in the shower and definitely need to charge some more than that, so but yeah, I'm excited to finally be in the gym. I'm excited to finally be in the gym. I'm not even getting cap, yo. Like, as much as I dread walking in there because I'm just like, we really be in our own heads. Because the whole time I'm working on I'm like, ain't nobody really watching you, girl. You think people are watching you, but they are really watching themselves. You're in the gym because you want to look good. So, yeah. I'm really excited to just get in there and use these machines. Like, I feel like a real gym girl because I'm in there using fucking lap pulled on and shit. Like, I heard working my back muscles. I was working my legs, my legs were shaking when I was walking on the stairs. Shaking. So. Y'all, look what I got in the mail. I forgot that my package, if you watch my Dream Pinterest video, Woodrow video, I was saying that I had these pants that I got ordered, that I ordered, um, but they were custom. And they would take a couple weeks to ship. And I had gotten a message saying they were gonna be shipped today, and I forgot to check when I came from the gym. It's here! Girl, that double bag, girl. I'm trying to get to the goods, girl. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Look at this color. I definitely thought they were gonna be more brown, but I'm not even mad at this color. Hopefully they're long enough. They don't look like they, they might not be long enough. These are them. I got them in a size medium. Which looks like it's the right size, but I'm scared they're gonna be too short. Please don't be too short. I said it was a length of 44. Well, it's seem a 33. So this is them on. They're definitely like a little bit too short. I'm sorry, the lighting in my room is really just horrendous. So this is the length of them. It's not horrible, but it's definitely not the best length ever. But I feel like it's workable. Um if I put it on with like some boots or something, um, I don't think I could do like my. I'm gonna put on my Yeezys and see. It's like it's a bit. It's giving very much high water, so like 
it on the light. Anyway, what I would love to do is remove this seam, but it's because the way the pants are with this with the seam right here, I don't know if it's possible. Um, but if they were like this, that would be perfect. But it's the crotch. There's about less than an inch of space on the crotch. So when I pull them up to where they should be, so they're not they're like a mid-rise. Now we're giving high waters. Oh, I hate being tall sometimes. But I really, I looked at the size chart and I was like, cool, this should be good. Anyway, I need to edit this video because it's getting off tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Tryna give more life. I can see through the spikes. He's creeping like mice. Come and speak through the mic. Gotta be more precise. You ain't wrong if you're right. Had a wonderful night. Um, watching Gogglebox. It's a British show. I don't know if it's on all the Netflixes, but if you can watch Gogglebox, watch it. It's just fun. You watch people watch TV. And so they just do commentary on like different shows that they're watching. And when I tell you, I am dying laughing every single episode. Like when I first found out this was a show, when I um, watched it on television, I was like, what is this? We need this in every country. Google Box needs to be in every country. It's so freaking funny, man. Let me, like, let me see if I can find a funny clip for you. Europe's big place though, whereabouts in Europe? Are we still hey, Europe? We're still, of course we're still Europe. <laughs> but I thought we've come out of it. We technically left Europe, but we're still in the location of Europe. Yeah, we've lost the Europe. We left the European Union. <laughs> yeah, but we're still fucking in Europe. We didn't pull up anchor and say hello. <laughs> Italy has the worst outbreak by far. Hi guys, um, I'm mean, at some doing very much something. The color that I wanted, they didn't have, so um, I just went for classic white. I wanted to turn under, but I don't want to follow that lady, and she didn't come. You know, why should we, why should we, white people look like so? I don't know, but I'm gonna go to Tesco really quick. I need water. Um, and then I'm gonna go home and get my links together for my video. Um, and then I have the TikTok that needs to go up as well. Um, and what else? That's about it. I don't know what time it is, I'm gonna be honest. So I don't think it's lunchtime yet, though. Um, oh, I need to get ketchup. Ketchup skillet because I can't eat them damn eggs without ketchup. My body is sore. I woke up this morning and it wasn't hurting that much and i'm like oh i expected to wake up feeling a lot worse well it's been about 24 hours exactly because it's quarter to four and i finished working out at 3 30. the way my body hurts right now and i'm just like tomorrow at two how am i supposed to do anything i'm gonna go and work out i just don't know how i'm gonna be able to fully but anyway i didn't i did not come on camera to say that so i saw this tweet that said let me read it to you because L O L at life, right? Home experience if his friend cheats, he is definitely cheating too. Don't bother feeling sorry for the friend's girlfriend, you're in the same boat. And so I quote you, and I was like, This right here. And then I started thinking because, like, I was in this relationship with this guy four and a half years. And if anybody show, ain't nobody watching this video enough to show him because I posted a video a couple like last year or something and it was like a sit with Sakila and someone asked about my worst relationship and it was talking about him and how shit of a person he was. And the video got back to him some way, somehow. So if you see it again, Drew, I don't even give a fuck. If you see it again, you were a piece of shit. I don't care. Um. So anyway, so I was thinking about the fact that like his friends were cheating on the girlfriends and I'm talking to the friends like, well, if you don't want to be with her, then just leave her, da 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 And, like, whole time he was doing the same thing to me. And I was out here feeling like my boyfriend is a faithful. The 
the stupidity, like the things that we believed when we were young. Like I really deep, like I really thought that, I thought that his friends were on my side. Even his friends, mama like we used to go down to his friend's house and his mama would. I remember this one situation happened around Valentine's Day, like the first year we were together or second year we were together. And his ex had posted some screenshots of some conversations that they were having on Twitter. Child, I was in the most toxic relationship. Like, that was the most toxic thing I've been a part of. And his and his friend's mama was telling me that she's just... She's just all this stuff just trying to make me feel better. And now I look back and I'm like, she was not on my side either. She she was cool and, and you know, she liked me. But she was, she was not on my side. She was on their side. She was on their side. <laughs> And it's like, damn, like when you're in it, you really be thinking that these niggas are seriously about you and only about you. But really and truly, if you look around and you see how their friends are treating the 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 girls, nine times out of ten, he's doing the same thing to you. He's doing the same thing to you. And that's just the T on that. This is such a random, like, just a random thought, but, like, I just want to be in love and happy in love and in a relationship. Like, it's about to be Valentine's Day, and I'm single. Like, anyway, I'm going to stop talking now, and I'm going to do this godforsaken thumbnail. Sometimes I hate doing thumbnails, I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I'm just like, girl, just, like, just click on the video because you just want to click on it because it's me. Like, why well, I'm going to do all this actual stuff so that you click on the video. <laughs> <laughs> good morning guys happy wednesday it's 905 honesty moment i've been on tiktok since i woke up this morning i'm not gonna lie to you i didn't meditate i did do my visual diary i woke up and that's the first thing i wanted to do um i was just talking about how i feel like i'm not doing enough as a spiritual person like i feel like i'm not really spiritual i don't know i need to go to the grocery store today I don't know if I'm gonna work out, my body is still sore. So if I don't do it today, I'll do it tomorrow morning. The workout that I have for today, I can definitely do down in the gym downstairs. I just won't be able to do leg press, which is fine. But yeah, good morning. I was just on TikTok. And like, I just, I I don't, I don't want everything to be feel like work for me. Um. Like, I was saying how I don't really want to post on Instagram anymore. Like, I'm kind of tired of Instagram. I'm tired of having to do stuff to grow. Like, I just want to... I just want to be able to just post for... To just post and just know that it's just going to do well. I don't have to think about what kind of content's going to do well. What I need to do to make the content do well. I just want it all to just do well. Transparency moment again. I'm just sitting here. I feel like I'm in a really bad mood today. Like really in a bad mood like <laughs> like today feels like one of those order junk food and do absolutely nothing kind of days and i'm like i hate when things affect me but i'm just irritated i'm so irritated right now <laughs> like i just want to punch somebody i'm gonna do some stuff later to try and lift my mood but right now i just want to eat food and watch shows so i am um, back i went to um i went to the store to get some ingredients so i can make alfredo because that's what i'm craving so it's only 5 30 right now so i don't really need to cook just yet so i'm actually on skillshare about to do some calming exercises so i want to say a huge thank you to skillshare for sponsoring this vid um if you don't know what skillshare is girl girl how don't you know skillshare is an online learning community um has thousands of online classes members across hundreds of countries um it's just a really dope place to get inspired and learn new skills and what i love most about skillshare is the number of classes available so i am also doing a graphic design class but like i said i want to just do something that will help me to kind of get out of this funk and there's this i literally just typed in self-care and i see this the ultimate self-care playbook discover and nurture your centered self by jonathan van ness so i'm gonna look into this i'm gonna get on this and see what's talking about um see if this can help boost my mood because girl i really need some help right now um 
and yeah skillshare is just really dope man skillshare is it's ad free so when you're in design and you're doing what you're doing you don't have to worry about ads popping up you can just explore your skills without any distractions which i absolutely love there are premium classes launching every week so like i promise there's something on there for you like there's no way that there's nothing on skillshare for you on top of that the entire catalog is available in spanish french portuguese and german so it has subtitles in all of those languages so the first thousand people who use my link down below they do get a one month free trial of skillshare one month free you can just try it out and see for 30 days you know no no commitment no nothing you can see what is both so like check that link click that link and get you a one month free trial of skillshare i promise you will not be disappointed but yeah i'm gonna get into this and then i'm gonna make some dinner and yeah. i just want y'all to see how my hair responded to relaxer so as you can see the roots curly the middle straight the ends curly i'm gonna even try to uh relax the ends twice the back is pretty straight there's some spots that are straighter than others you see that right there um i tweeted about how i'm about to go get in the shower and wash my wash my hair and stuff but i tweeted a I look ridiculous. Tweeted about how um I was gonna watch my call it my hair, lock it up, and then I was thinking about how it's relaxed, so I probably should wait until it grows out to do it. And this girl who has the locked her hair, she's like, No, you don't have to wait. So I'm going to do it tonight. But yeah, we're gonna lock it up. I'm probably not gonna record it. Anyway, I'm just talking too much. I'm gonna go get a shower and get started on this hair. Hundred thousand hours later, we are finished um i tried to get it as even as possible and then i just was just like i don't care like it doesn't even matter because they're locked they're not supposed to be perfect so this is what we're looking like like i said i got a wig coming to my room so we're going to be wigged up and other things in between you know the stages of locked this it's 11 o'clock so i'm going to sleep Hi guys, I'm gonna end the vlog today. It's Friday. It's 12:20 right now. I'm just not been feeling my absolute best for the last like since Wednesday night. Um, I think it is linked to the fact that I look like horrible. Um, so I don't feel like I want to be productive and things like that. I'm feeling a very immense weight, very immense pressure. Um to get a lot of stuff done or well, not even a lot of stuff done but to just work on myself and so when i feel this kind of pressure it causes me to do absolutely nothing and then i end up laying in bed all day and i don't do anything i don't so i told myself i'm gonna take this weekend to just recenter i'm trying not to be too tough on myself but i'm like together it's february 11th i don't know i just need to really spend some time with myself and figure out how to get out of this headspace and just stop believing again and everything that I that I want to be a reality for me again start moving in the way in which someone who is living this life would move and I just maybe I just don't know what that looks like because again I don't do anything I don't I don't I don't have a life and so when it comes to vlogging and realizing that every day I'm just picking up the camera and I'm in my bed every day I'm picking up the camera and I'm at the, my little kitchen every day I'm picking up the camera and I'm and I'm just like damn together you ain't got nothing to do with your life it's like what do I do just walk in town and just do window shopping I just don't see how that would be fun but I do need to start leaving here more often like you know challenging myself once a day to get out even if it's just to go for a walk in the park but just to get out and do something you know but i need to start moving like the person that i want to be so maybe i need to reevaluate who that person is and what her days look like and what she does with her time because right now i'm just feeling very my energy is very like oh, if i was on a scale of 1 to 10 where my energy is at right now i would seriously give it like a 2.5 but yeah like it's feeling like when i get like just all i want to just eat junk food and i know that's not you know, it's not helpful to me to be eating like shit, but that's just how I feel. And when I feel like this, I just want to eat not good food. Yeah, I just want to feel good about my life. Like, I guess that's it. Like, I just want to feel like I'm doing something with my life. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to cry right now. But 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, because now I want to cry. So I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs> this is real life, man. My life ain't all glitters and rainbows and sparkles and shit. Like, sometimes it's... We deep in the valley and we be feeling like not nice about ourselves. And feeling like everything that we want, we're not actually going to get. And that's okay. It's okay to feel sad. I don't even know why I'm going to cry. Anyway, I'm getting off of this camera because my eyes are welling up. I love you very much. And I hope that you've enjoyed this train wreck of a vlog. Um, and we go again tomorrow. <laughs>